Obviously, I hope this is obvious, you people, all of you people watching this later, this was unplanned. I just came back from a run. Uh, I did hills and I did sprints. And by the way, for those of you that don't know me, hello, happy Saturday. My name is Kelly Alexa, CEO and founder of Fitfluential. Um, I'm ca calling you. I am in Austin, Texas. I just got back from about 20 minutes in the heat, as you can see what's going on here. Lauren Fisher, wait till you see. I'm on fire, Lauren. I'm just letting you know. I had just a moment and I came back and I'm like, before I do my yoga, I got to go and bring this message out. So here's the deal. I was coming back from my run and I, I went and I did sprints and, and hills. So A, it's really like 100 degrees out and B, I kicked some serious ass. But I'm so inspired and I'm so fired up about this, which is pretty much my state of mind anyway. But if I'm normally here, now I'm here. And so here's the deal. I'm coming back, coming down the hill. And this woman was pulled over to the side of the road and she was um, letting her, she pulled up to some mailboxes and she was letting her daughter get out and get the mail. And they stopped me and they waved and the, the mom said, oh my gosh, you know, my daughter is, is a runner. And, and I said, well, you know, I, I don't run long distance. I'm doing sprints or whatever. But she's like, you know, she, she thinks you look great or whatever. And I said to the woman, I'm like, she said, my daughter would really love to run more. And I said, well, how about you? You know, do you like to run with her? And she's like, Oh, I'm too old for that. And I'm like, why are you too old for that? And she said, well, I'm 39. I'm like, I'm 48. And she was like, so number one, I felt good that she didn't think I was 48. I don't ever lie about my age. But she, she struck a chord in me because I started to talk to her. I just said, here's the deal. Age has nothing to do with it. Fitness is a state of mind. And you, your body, that vessel that you've been given, it's your temple. You can do anything with it. I'm getting Dutch Gay. Dutch Gay is one of our most amazing people. I mean, look at him. He makes anything I do look like down here. It's like a little warm up. So I'm talking to this woman and, and I said, you think you can't run because you're 39 and not that you need to run. Maybe that's not your vibe, but if you think you can't run with your daughter. And then I started thinking about all the times that I, I've been a guest at certain, um, you know, up in Chicago, I went to this baseball camp and I got to see our, our friend Mark, who was a, a trainer there of kids and, and the parents would drop their kids off and, and they would, they let their kids go practice and do all this great metabolic conditioning and get in shape. And the parents, are sitting at the bar, stuffing their face with pizza, watching TV. And I'm like, why do parents, and I'm not making a sweeping generalization. This is not, this is not, you're too, yeah, Dutch, Dutch makes 45 look amazing. Um, that's all I'm going to say. And ladies, he's in Boston. I believe he's single. Let, if anything's changed there, Dutch, let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to send him your way. A side note, my workout, I really bruised my elbows. My trainer really worked me hard yesterday. I'm going to get to the point. I'm going to tie this down for you guys. Here's the deal. You have one body. You are given a body that is capable of so much more than you think. I am getting in the best shape of my whole life at 48. And I have every conceivable issue known to man. I have hypothyroidism, Hashimoto's to be exact. I have insulin resistance. I had it. I conquered it. Um, I have hormonal imbalances. I have, well, just shiny object syndrome, um, high energy, lack of focus. I've got it all and I'm still doing it. And you know how good it feels on a Saturday? I slept in and I still went out there and I'm going up and down these hills and I, I look down and I see how much my quads are developing and how good I feel. I can only imagine what I'm going to feel like at 55, 60, 70, 75, whatever. So let me tell you, I'm just thinking about all these parents, all these parents that drop their kids off at soccer practice and sit on the side munching Cheetos. Not that there's a problem. If you like Cheetos, have at it, bro. So why would you sit on the side and say, my time is up. It's just my kids. It's not just your kids. You're, you can be setting an example. You should be the ones training with your kids, setting an example for your kids, saying, you know what? The rest of my life is the best of my life, and I'm going to be in the best damn shape I've ever been. I'm going to treat my body like a temple. I'm going to take care of it. I'm going to have my rest days. I'm going to eat. And guess what, people? When you take care of yourself, when you get into shape, ask Dutch. Look at half of his Instagram photos. Half the stuff he has up on there is like... It's like a restaurant. We like to eat. Don't think that getting in shape doesn't mean you like to eat. Wait till you see what I'm going to post later today, okay? It just has to do with cupcakes that were in this belly, okay, this week after a killer workout. Why would you not want to take the rest of your life 
and feel awesome. Set a great example for your kids. Why would you think that your kids are the only ones that can be in shape and that there's a certain deadline? I got news for you. I can list a billion examples of a billion people, okay? Start with all of my fifth lunch ambassadors. There's like 7,000 of them. Just look any of them up. And oh, here's a hint, by the way, that's your daily motivation. That's your accountability. Find some of those people. You can interact with them live. Dutch is one of them. Go on their Instagrams. It, uh, interact with them, reach out to them. So many of them are dietitians, nutritionists, chiropractors, doctors, trainers, and guess what? I'm gonna be telling all of my trainers because guess what this CEO of Fit Fledgel is doing? I'm getting my personal trainer certification so that I have that knowledge because I find it fascinating. And I'm just gonna put the challenge out and I'm going to put some ad spend behind this Facebook Live because I want to reach parents. I want to tell parents, it doesn't matter if you're 35, if you're 45, if you, I don't care what phase of life you're at. It doesn't mean you have to be a bodybuilder. Maybe you want to be a bodybuilder. Guess what? We've got people in their late 40s that are winning competitions on the bikini stage. Yes, bikini stage. And their body will make you go, oh, MG, really slow like that. That was not slow motion. That was just me. It is the best feeling in the world to focus on yourself and take this temple that you've been given, this vessel, and see what you're capable of. You are capable of so much more. I had all of these issues. I had the best, most amazing trainer here in Austin. His name is Blaine, and he has pushed me so far, as well as my massage therapist, who sometimes gives me joy, sometimes gives me a lot of pain. It's usually a lot of pain lately, but we're fixing issues. When I see that I have these tight hips and tight hamstrings and my glutes and lower back pain, and then little by little, because I follow the advice of these amazing people that care about me, all of a sudden, like, I go do my stretches and I'm like, OMG, look at me, look at me pulling that leg. It's like my legs all the way up here. And, and I'm, I'm flexible, I feel better, I sleep better. Do you see this energy? I've had one cup of coffee and not even the whole thing. This is not like anything crazy. This is just me, take it or leave it. So that's it. I actually have yoga to get to, but I gotta tell you, all you parents out there that are starting to make that decision of, I'm gonna sit on the sidelines and you know that, that's for the kids, it's not for the kids. You have no excuse to not take advantage of every single day that you have. And whatever it is, don't say, these are some of the excuses I've heard. I've heard people go, I can't do yoga, I'm not flexible. How do you know you're not flexible? Guess what? I'm more flexible today than I was eight weeks ago. I'll tell you that, and I have pictures to prove it. And I have my trainer and my massage therapist, and well, that's about it right now. They can verify what I'm talking about. But all I'm telling you is don't make assumptions about yourself. I've heard it all. I used to be that girl 20 years ago that goes, I can't run. Why? Because every time I would run, I would get a cramp. Ask Dutch. My, my sprinting is like his warm up, but I can run because I figured out how to breathe. How did I do that? I connected with people online. That was really kind of part of the impetus of me founding Fitfulential, this community where people can find other people and find your fitness. That's why our tagline, total promo coming up here, Fitfulential is fitness found. So you can find your fitness, whatever it is. Do you like to run? Maybe you like to run. Maybe you want to do CrossFit. Don't think you can't do CrossFit. I'm that person that would go, I could never do a pull-up. And my trainer, Blaine, looks at me and he's like, We'll get there, but you're gonna be doing pull-ups and you're gonna do all those kinds of pull-ups because I told you, I'm like, okay, look at Dutch. It's all about learning the exercise and yourself. Yes, yes, and let me tell you, follow him. He's one of my best people. Follow everything he puts out. You'll see not only that this boy likes to eat and like most of our people, don't make this mistake like, oh, I don't wanna be fit because all I'm gonna to have to eat is chicken breast and egg whites. That's like, um, the knowledge of 15 years ago. Trust me when I tell you, I go rogue. I regularly now eat donuts, um, Pop-Tarts. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to tell you that this is like those pills you hear about on the radio or when, you're, when you can't sleep at three in the morning and you turn the TV on and you wish you did and you see these weird infomercials. This isn't like, oh, take a pill, you can do whatever you want, eat whatever you want, I'm not saying that. But yes, you can have wine, yes, you can have chocolate, yes, you can have, uh, pizza, yes, you can have carbs. This isn't about that. Do you, based on your goals, need to figure out what diet plan and what total approach is right for you? Yes, absolutely. And when you find that fit for you, I figured out that fit, but I'm always tweaking it. Thank you for the hearts, by the way. When you find that fit, 
it feels good because you feel in control, you feel empowered, and then you can go and you can make your choices. You know, when I travel, I decide. Last week, let me tell you something, and I should have Instagrammed more, but I'm going to be back in Tampa, um, let's see, two or three weeks, and I think we're going to go back to this restaurant. I had some of the most amazing at this one restaurant. I got to ask Amanda what the name of it was. Apple, it was like an apple brown Betty, this apple cobbler, Dutch. I, you got to come visit and we have to go to this place with ice cream on the top. Now I will say I'm a little dairy intolerant. So later on that ice cream did not really agree with me, but now I remember. Now I go, okay, note to self, order something like that without the ice cream. Not because I'm cutting calories, but because I don't like having a stomach ache. Go figure. So uh, I had that. What else? Amanda brought some of these Justin's peanut butter cups. We had those. Uh, we had donuts after leg day. And um, yet I have a program that works for me. I follow uh, my friend Amanda, her Faster Way to Fat Loss program, which combines a lot of the things that I knew work for me. Intermittent fasting. Um, that really works for me. And, and staying clean with my eating, but also giving myself permission to eat what I want. Don't think... Stop telling yourself that you can't or won't do some of the stuff I'm telling you and I'm empowering all of you to do. Stop making excuses up front. You can't, I give you no hall pass to make excuses up front. Don't say you can't do yoga until you've gone to at least one yoga class. Promise me that. Go to a yoga class. Don't get a yoga DVD. I want you to go to a class because you will feel that camaraderie if yoga is what you're pulled to and you'll walk away going, oh snap. If you want to run, Connect with somebody that can tell you how to get started. I, I did not, I was not able to figure out how to run until I connected with my friend Amy Burford and she showed me how to get the right shoes, the right, ask, Dutch would be somebody that could give you advice on running. He talks about it on his blog all the time. He could point it out to you. Um, if you want to start Pilates, if you want to do group exercise, if you want to learn how to lift weights, whatever it is, don't knock it until you try it. Don't say, I can't lift weights, I had an injury when I was in high school. That's why you go to experts. That's why I only work with Blaine, who is a certified trainer who knows his shit. He's so good at it. And it's so, ex it's, don't you want to feel like this instead of being like, oh, I'm so tired. I got to take the kids to soccer practice. Ugh. No, you're not allowed to feel that way. You're only allowed to feel this way. So I came in here and let you see me at my sweatiest, most ridiculous, scary looking Saturday thing. I put off my yoga for you guys because that woman that pulled me over, and I'll tell you what, you watch, I know where she lives now. She will be working out and feeling better, feeling more empowered and feeling proud of herself. You watch, because I'll show up outside of her door like, hey, what's up, I brought you a water bottle, let's go. Don't think that you can't do it. Think and know that you can. Look at your body as like, what am I gonna do with this the rest of my life? I'm gonna look at my 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s as like, I'm gonna be hiking, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna try to be like Dutch. I'm going to be, try to be like Dutch and be a triathlete. Don't think that you can't. Don't think that you can't. I don't want to hear it. You challenge yourself. Go with your kids. That's it. Ask other people because I'll tell you what, if you're a soccer mom, if you're one of those people that's dropping your kids off, I guarantee you there's always that one person that all of the women sitting on the side are sitting around talking about her going, look at her. Why should she wear those Lululemon? Why should she wear those tight pants? Why don't you be that woman that's going to wear those tight pants and go, Mm -hmm. I know you're looking at my butt and I don't care if that sounds stupid because trust me, when you start to feel better about yourself, you carry yourself different. You won't walk like this. You walk like this. You'll be like, that's right. Do you want me to flex? Okay. Feel good about yourself. Choose to get better. <laughs> I could do this all day, but I have yoga to do and I have a massage later and I'm pampering myself and soothing myself because I worked hard and I deserve it and so do you. And I want to see comments from all of you that you did something this weekend to take a step in the next direction. Bam, that's all I got to say. And I also have to make sure I put something on my elbows because my trainer, just to give you a tip of maybe something you'd like to try, no equipment, try, no, no equipment required, get yourself in a plank position. If you don't know what a plank is, you need to Google it, which is like a push-up position, but you're not pushing up. Dutch will, people like Dutch will already know what this is. Get yourself into a push-up position. And then Dutch, you know what this is. So your, your hands are in the push-up position and then you go down on your elbows and then you come up. <laughs> I have to do three sets of those, which is why, I don't know if you can see this, you probably can't see it, but I'm, I told him, I'm like, I'm sore, my elbows hurt, he's like, get down, I do 20 more, and I, and I had to, and I, at like 15, I'm like, 15, he's like, I, I'd stop, and I'm like this, I'm like, can I stop, and he goes, five more, Alexa, five more, we don't stop in here, 
Do you think I'm proud that I did all of it? Hells yes, I am. You guys have a great Saturday. I'll see you tomorrow. Dutch, love you. You're, you're awesome. You inspire so many people. Keep it up. Like I said, ladies, you're in the Boston area. There's your man. Ask him out because a whole lot of people will be doing it after this. And even soccer moms, if you're divorced, that is. <laughs>